Hi friends, in this video we are solving problem on Jacobian. Given problem is if u is equal to y by x and b is equal to x plus y by x minus y, then verify u comma v are functionally related. If so, find the relation between them. Okay, friends, here they are given u and v two functions. Those are in terms of x and y. So, u comma v are functions of x and y. Then what we have to do? We have to verify these functions u comma v are functionally related. So, if you want to prove u comma v are functionally related, then it is enough to prove the Jacobian of u comma v with respect to x comma y is 0. If it is 0, then you can say the functions u and v are functionally related. Nothing but a functionally dependent. If suppose Jacobian is not is equal to 0, then you can say functionally independent. So, if it is 0, then you can get the relation between u and v. If not is equal to 0, you can't get any relation. There is no relation between u and v. Okay? Right. You see, once again I am repeating, functionally dependent means you have to get Jacobian 0. Functionally independent means you have to get a not is equal to 0. Okay, till now many problems we are done with the functionally independent. Just now we have to verify this is functionally related or not. Now I am writing the given function u is y by x and v is equal to x plus y by x minus y. Now we have to find the Jacobian of u comma v with respect to x comma y. From the definition this Jacobian we are defined as do of u comma v by do of x comma y. And like you can add u partially with respect to x, similarly u with respect to y, u first with respect to x, later with respect to y. Now v with respect to x, v with respect to y. So we need to find out this determinant. So first we need to find out uh, dou u by dou x. That is differentiation of u partially with respect to x. Here you have a uh, y by x. So while differentiating partially with respect to x, we have to treat y as a constant. Okay. Differentiating with respect to one variable, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. Now, x is in the denominator. So, 1 by x derivative minus 1 by x square. So, you will have minus y by x square. Next, I want dou u by dou y. Dou u by dou y means y is in the numerator. Now, 1 by x is independent of y. Now, y derivative is 1. 1 into 1 by x is 1 by x. Right. This is computed. Next, I want to find out dou v by dou x. Nothing but I am differentiating v partially with respect to x. Here you observe, this is x plus y. v is containing both the numerator and denominator. Numerator is containing x term. Denominator is also containing x term. So, both are having x terms. So, u by v rule you need to apply. That is denominator into numerator derivative with respect to x. That is 1 plus 0. Because here there is no x term. So, independent of x. So, this derivative will be 0. Next, minus numerator into Denominator derivative with respect to x that is 1 minus 0 means 1 only no need to write divided by denominator square. You know that u by v rule yes or no? u by v whole dash is equal to v u dash minus u v dash by v square that is denominator into numerator derivative minus numerator into denominator derivative by denominator square. Now I have to simplify this. If I simplify here you observe this is plus x this is minus x. So both are getting cancelled. Now minus y minus y means minus 2y divided by x minus y whole square. This is which value? Dou v by dou x value. Now I need to find out dou v by dou y value. Nothing but I am differentiating v partially with respect to y. Now you observe v is containing both the numerator and denominator. Numerator is uh, in terms of y. Denominator is also in terms of y. So you have to apply again u by v rule. Now denominator into x minus y into numerator derivative with respect to y. So, this is independent of y. So, this derivative will be 0 plus y derivative 1. So, 1 plus 0 means 1. No need to write this one. Yes or no? Minus numerator into x plus y into denominator derivative with respect to y. This derivative will be 0. This derivative is 1. But here you have 0 minus 1. So, minus 1. So, minus 1 means it will become plus. Yes or no? Divided by denominator square. That is x minus y whole square. Now, if you simplify this, 
here you observe this is minus y this is plus y so both are getting cancelled now i will get dou v by dou y is equal to 2x by x minus y whole square okay friends now we have to substitute dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x dou v by dou y values in the jacobian okay now i am substituting these all values in the jacobian then i will have determinant of ux ux means minus y by x square next uy uy means 1 by x next vx means minus 2y by x minus y whole square next vy means 2x by x minus y whole square okay now you want to find out the determinant we know that a b c determinant is a d minus b c yes now i am doing this one now minus y by x square means minus 2xy in the numerator denominator is x square into x minus y whole square a d completed now minus b c now here you have again minus so minus into minus plus numerator 2y into 1 so you will get 2y divided by here you have x here you have x minus y whole square right now any cancellations here nothing here denominator uh, you have x term numerator x term getting cancelled so this is minus 2y by x into x minus y whole square this is plus 2y by x into x minus y whole square so you will get the jacobian value is what jacobian is equal to 0 therefore you can say u and v are functionally dependent functionally related so the relation we are going to find how to find uh, means this is a trial and error method Every time we cannot get uh, like this problem. Sometimes we have to know some formulas. Okay. Remember, this time this problem is very easy. That is why we can do very easy. But uh, sometimes it is very complicated. Okay. Based on the practice only we can do. Now I am doing this problem uh, relationship I am going to find. Given that uh, u is equal to y by x and v is equal to x plus y by x minus y. Friends, here you observe y is in the numerator, x is in the denominator in u. But here v is containing both x and y in the numerator and denominator. So from this numerator, I can take x is a common. Yes or no? Yes. If I take an x is a common, then I will have 1 plus y by x. Yes or no? Divided by. Now from the denominator, I am taking x is a common. If I take an 1 minus y by x. So the numerator and denominator both are getting cancelled. Right. Now, 1 plus y by x. Where is y by x you have? Where you seen? Yes, u is called y by x. u is, uh, we are denoted with what? y by x. So, 1 plus u by 1 minus u. So, this is the relation between u and v. So, is it clear first? Like this, we can find out the relation between functions of u, v, if they are given w also. So, friends, how you can verify? The functions if they are given u, v, w are functionally related. Suppose uh, functions of x comma y comma z means first we have to find out the Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. We have to prove this value is equal to 0. Then you can say u, v, w are functionally related. Nothing but functionally dependent. When it is dependent then you will get the relation between u, v, w. If suppose the Jacobian is not is equal to 0, then you cannot get the relation. Okay friends, thank you for watching this video. If you want, you can note down.